at 11, this fun event at the Las Vegas Lights game is now coming under fire. The Federal Aviation Administration now investigating this cash drop. Well, the event took place for the second time in September at Cashman Field. We're talking about tens of thousands of dollars being dropped from the skies. The fans, well, they absolutely loved it, but the feds, well, not so much. That's right. 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter is live near Cashman Field with why the FAA is looking into this stunt. Austin. Yeah, Trisha, and it all began with a video that was posted to social media that quickly got the attention of the FAA. This investigation involving a helicopter in possible violations. And I've learned today that this is not the first time that the FAA has investigated a similar cash drop here at Cashman Field. The chopper has arrived at Cashman. The cash is out. Call it organized chaos. Does it rushing through the field at Cashman? hoping to get that money. Dollar bills raining down here. Helicopter cash drops happening two seasons in a row with the Las Vegas Lights games. It's been met with lots of anticipation, almost as much as the game itself. Where's the referee in all this madness? And that referee just might be the Federal Aviation Administration. They're now investigating the September 7th helicopter cash drop, looking into the possibility of at least two violations including reckless operation and not maintaining a safe height. These regulations have been developed over decades and most of the time they've been de developed through some type of disaster. And so they're there for a reason. Aviation expert Chris Wallach of the Nevada Institute for Autonomous Systems knows the dangers of pulling off a drop from a chopper. And a drop is probably one of the most complex that a pilot can operate. Well, the details of the investigation have not yet been released. Chris says there's a lot to piece together, including whether or not the helicopter was in proper contact with air traffic control and whether the helicopter was in an area safe enough to conduct the drop. When you drop below a certain altitude, particularly in a, in a very con congested environment of Las Vegas, Nevada, there's all kinds of power lines, telephone poles, things like that. So there's procedural where they are not allowed to go below 1,000 feet in congested areas within 2,000 feet of a structure or people. The FAA also tells us the same stunt pulled off in 2018 was also investigated. The pilot of that helicopter was required to complete remedial training to ensure that they fully understood regulations and would comply with them in the future. However, the pilot involved in this year's incident was not the same as last. 